Well, I'm not afraid. <laughs> My name's Martha Briggs, and I teach English at Dow High School. And I'm going to read a poem by Vizhwava Zimborska. And um, there's not a V in her name, but that's how you pronounce it. And when I use this in my classes, I always have my students practice how to pronounce your name. So I think we should all practice that. Vizhwava Zimborska. Awesome. Now we'll say it together, and then I'll read my poem. Vizhwava Zimborska. Do you feel smarter, you should? Yeah. It's called a word on statistics. Out of every hundred people, those who always know better, 52. Unsure of every step, almost all the rest. Ready to help, if it doesn't take long, 49. Always good, because they cannot be otherwise, four, well, maybe five. Able to admire without envy, 18. Led to error by youth, which passes, 60, plus or minus. Those not to be messed with, four and 40. Living in constant fear of someone or something, 77. Capable of happiness, 20 some odd at most. Harmless alone, turning savage in crowds, more than half for sure. Cruel when forced by circumstances, it's better not to know, not even approximately. Wise in hindsight, not many more than wise in foresight. <laughs> Getting nothing out of life except things, 30, though I would like to be wrong. Balled up in pain and without a flashlight in the dark, 83, sooner or later. Those who are just, quite a few, 35. But if it takes effort to understand, three. Worthy of empathy, 99. Mortal, 100 out of 100, a figure that has never varied yet. I learned about Vizhwava Zimborska about 10 years ago at a National Council of Teachers of English convention. And I went to a session, two people were running, and they had several poems by her. I'd never heard of her before. She won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1996. She's a Polish poet. She's about 85 years old now. And um, she's, very, she's not real prolific. I, um, she's only written about 250 poems, which sounds like a lot to me. But she, critics say she's not real prolific. And she, really, the Nobel Prize brought her to international attention. I use this poem, it, it, since I took this home from the convention, I have used this poem in every class I teach every single year because it is a universally thoughtful, insightful poem, and it, it just in, um, it generates so much discussion and conversation, and I, I ask kids what they notice or what lines jump out at them or which ones they thought were unusual, and depending on what we're reading, different lines will jump out, and, um, and that's always exciting to me. I, I, I love to revisit this every year because it's always new, and students who've read it with me as freshmen and then have a class with me again when they're seniors, Sometimes they remember it and sometimes they don't, but when we get into it again, then they'll, they'll remember particular lines that they, that they connected to when we were reading it the first time. And that, I think that's very wonderful for kids to discover that you can reread something and it can be a new experience because you're bringing your previous reading to it and, you, and you're pulling something else out of it. And I think that's very exciting. So this time when I read it, think about lines that you might have thought, ooh, and then you'll hear them again and so maybe you'll remember them. A word on statistics. Out of every hundred people, those who always know better, 52. Unsure of every step, almost all the rest. Ready to help if it doesn't take long, 49. Always good because they cannot be otherwise, four. Well, maybe five. Able to admire without envy, 18. Led to error by youth, which passes, 60 plus or minus, those not to be messed with, four and 40, living in constant fear of someone or something, 77, 
capable of happiness, 20 some odd at most, harmless alone, turning savage in crowds, more than half for sure, cruel when forced by circumstances, it's better not to know, not even approximately. Wise in hindsight, not many more than wise in foresight. Getting nothing out of life except things, 30, though I would like to be wrong. Balled up in pain and without a flashlight in the dark, 83, sooner or later. Those who are just, quite a few, 35. But if it takes effort to understand, three. Worthy of empathy, 99. Mortal, 100 out of 100, a figure that has never varied yet. Thanks. <laughs>